Eyeball, this is the making of the old Milwaukee video. Video. This is the director, Mr. Eyeball. How you Cameron. doing? Nice to see you. What's so, the plan uh, of the video today? What's that? What's the plan of the video today? Get fucked up. All right. <laughs> Five thirty, and uh, I haven't been able to sleep all night. It's making me crazy. We got this big shoot today, and uh, I've been very nervous. It's our first music video shoot, and it's kind of like a first date. You know, you don't know what uh, what to expect. Gotta look your best. Be at your best. It's very important. We're doing our uh, makeup for our video, and uh, you know my natural blonde hair um, has always been a problem for me because uh, people tend to like talk to me like I'm stupid or something. So I realized that when I have my hair dark, people tend to respect me a little more. Point is, is for the video, I'm gonna go ahead and dye my hair dark because people take me more seriously, and I think that uh, we're gonna be able to pull it off. We're not gonna look stupid, you know. I mean, you know, lip sync is really difficult to do. I'm, I'm pretty excited for sure. I think that we're gonna have like a, a hell of a piece on our hands and it might even be like a Citizen Kane or something, you know? So what do you think? Well, I've been really, I'm really excited to the fact, the fact that we have all these professionals working for us and I'm sure you did a really great job, but I just... Isaac Kamner, I directed the video, Old Milwaukee, and believe me, it's really tough being in the band and being the director of the video. Make me look good, and that might be kind of hard. You can work magic, Hollywood magic, right? Can you pluck my nostrils? Can you paint my tongue? She's not gonna make me look all really or nothing, right? No. I'm not in the fucking Motley Crue. Oh, you're looking good now. Wait a second, wait a second, wait, wait, what are you doing here? Oh, it's inexpensive. Is there anybody out there? Hello? <laughs> Perfect. Think this is really gonna work? Absolutely. Okay, this, this is gonna make me, hot. uh... So hot. Hot. Hot, hot as hell? Okay. All the best you want. I'm down with that. <laughs> funny. <laughs> funny, guys. Yeah, funny. Really funny. It's really good in the morning, and I'm ready to make a music video today, and I really hope the people here, um, whoever the fuck's watching this, likes our music video. It smells like my high school math teacher. <laughs> Anything else? We good? Absolutely. So this is it? No, no, no. This is what you want me to look like, right? So this is it. This is the way you, uh, okay. This is what you want me to look. For your art, just like we did. Right, great. Supper for your art, just like sure. We did. Oh, okay, sure. Whatever, whatever. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Here. Burn. Fine. Fuck off. Tell, tell us about your So the deal is, you know you've made it when you need to make a music video, and when you make a music video, you need to learn how to lip sync, because if you can't lip sync, man, you ain't shit. And you gotta look cool like us. You have to be very, very, very careful about what you're doing, because you can't fake it. You have to be really serious about lip syncing, because lip syncing is everything. Lip syncing means the world. I mean, without 
true lip sync, there's just nothing. And without nothing, you have nothing. And then you're screwed. Then you don't have no video. Then you have, you're like, you're lost. So Wilker was hell bent on the Zeitgeist truck. So he had to do the David Lee Roth off the top of it. And we knew where he was going to fail because he had a broken foot and everything, but went ahead and shot it anyway and never made it in the video. For the, the making of the old Milwaukee video MTV special. Well, it's half hour for, premiere. Uh, I thought it was PVR, damn it. What am I doing here? Shit. God damn it. You're in the wrong century as well. <laughs> That's why I'm here, baby. That's a little historical <laughs> footnote to the event. I think you're actually two centuries ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a clamper. I really wouldn't know. Yep. I've all said cowboy, and you jump when I all says cowboy. When will you get in a gunfight with you? Shit, no, nah, I left them all at home today, you know, kids. It's, it's family affair today, you know, only pot smoking, beer drinking, and hard hitting music, my friends. I uh, hear you. Have a good day. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, so we caught Saddam Hussein today. Yeah. And, uh, the war's uh, over. He needs a shave. <laughs> the war's over. He needs a shave. Everybody go home. <laughs> so Silky Weasel, what are you doing on the set here? Um, freeloading at this point. Reloading? Freeloading. Freeloading. Just trying to get in the video. That's all. That's it, trying to get in the, the video. video. Yeah. Bigger. We can build a fort! A fort! <laughs> a fort! <laughs> we're gonna build a fort! <laughs> a fort! And then and we're, we're gonna have a mold. We're gonna build a fort. We're gonna have, we're gonna have snacks and stuff. We're gonna build a fort. <laughs> Okay, Rod, right, you ready to start drinking? And you're back watching. Okay, so our buddy Rod wins the most enthusiastic nice. award. That's he good. sat here and did this for us One more. for 12 minutes and he drank three and a half pitchers. Okay, one more. The big beer. So at this point, you can see that he's got two pitchers, and now comes the third. And he's halfway down with his third pitcher. And you can pretty much get a good idea of where he stands with that booze. He didn't let it get a hold of him. Okay, now it's off screen, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. God!
Go for it. Now put it down. Okay, Rod, drink it, don't lick it. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, this is like your last pitcher, man. You're down. Go. So by the time Rod was finished with his beer, and now drink it. He realized that he had been. I think we kind of force fed him, and uh, the side of all the pills that he was taking that day, I think we kind of messed him up pretty good, so we had to pour him in a cab that day. Him and his girlfriend both, who, you know, took the residuals of the, the deal. That crazy fucking tree over here, look at this. Fuck, guys, I don't love it. Yo, what's the fucking beer, man? Don't forget to pick up a pint of shit. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's we did, so we decided to delete the scene because it reminded us of Mr. Rogers, and we all know about Mr. Rogers. I, Barry, don't make me feel uncomfortable, because you know how uncomfortable I, like I am really about, Mr. about Mr. Rogers. Let's not, not mention Mr. Rogers anymore, okay? Okay, no more Mr. Rogers. No more Mr. Rogers. I always right. wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So, let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, You be my neighbor. Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor?
Yeah.